Tonight, a small win for the owner of a building near 18th and Howard. We've told you for weeks, Bob Perrin doesn't want to sell to make way for a juvenile justice center. Today, an Omaha Landmark Commission voted to recommend the building receive historic status. 3 News Now reporter Alexa Ray explains what that means for the future of the building and what it does not guarantee. So I'll move uh, that we recommend for approval uh, of a local landmark designation for case 18-22-H1, the automobile sales building and Army Corps laboratory. The building that sits on 18th and Howard may soon be recognized as a historical landmark. Building owner Bob Perrin says it is one of the few buildings in Omaha that is still intact from the day it was built. And so it should be an historic landmark because it's a perfect example of 19th century commercial architecture. Perrin reached out to Restoration Exchange Omaha to draft a proposal to designate the building as a historic landmark. Perrin says he always planned on getting the building designated before its ownership passed to anybody else. Restoration Exchange Omaha says that buildings like this one need to be preserved in our community. Uh, what we have in this district of downtown is significant hollowing out that's taken place over the last 50, 60 years, where you could throw a stone from the front of the building and hit an empty parking lot. While Perrin and Restoration Exchange Omaha view today's approval vote as a small victory, the building could still be taken over by Douglas County through eminent domain. And, and so it doesn't really protect them completely, but it adds another layer of oversight to what can happen to properties that are historic to all of us. The proposal passed the first hurdle today. If the Planning Commission agrees the building is a historic landmark, the proposal moves to the City Council. Perrin says he hopes by making the building a historic landmark, the community will recognize the importance of not turning the building into the Juvenile Justice Center. So finally the, the, the community is starting to pay attention to this part of town. Alexa Ray reporting, have an official historic designation does not guarantee a building protection. It did not save the Indian Hills Theater from being demolished in 2001. In 2014, crews tore down the Clorinda Page building after the Omaha City Council voted to revoke the Clorinda Page's landmark status. That allowed the area near 30th and Farnham to be included in Mutual of Omaha's plans to expand Midtown.